Charleston is a drinking town with a historic problem, and especially when it comes to the blue laws, which prohibit you from being able to purchase liquor past 7 p.m. any day of the week. Um, you cannot purchase liquor at all on Sundays, and that includes like Saturday night, once it turns midnight and becomes Sunday, you cannot get liquor or beer until 6 a.m. Then the rest of the day you can get beer, but no liquor unless you buy it at a bar or a restaurant. So a lot of travelers come here, they don't realize that, and it can definitely mess up your night if you don't have anything to drink on because you didn't purchase it before seven. Also, the liquor stores are separate than the grocery store. You can't just get them all in one place. That would just be too convenient and easy. <laughs> So you live in a bigger city where you can party all night long and maybe you don't go out until 1 a.m. Don't do that here because you will miss all the fun. <laughs> and also if you are planning on hitting up Upper King Street, which is kind of the main bar district in Charleston downtown, try to get to wherever you're going before midnight because once midnight comes around, there will be lines everywhere and you'll just waste a lot of time in line. So get to where you're going by midnight post up, get your drink on, and remember the bar's closed by two. There is no open containers on the streets. So if you are walking around King Street or really anywhere with a open drink in your hand, you could very well get a ticket. I doubt you would get arrested, but you would probably very likely get a ticket. And if you are obnoxious and drunk enough, maybe you would get arrested. But I know it probably feels a little like New Orleans or Savannah, um, but it's not. So don't walk around with an open container. And that also goes for the beaches. Um, you cannot have an open container on the, any of the beaches. And if you are drinking, you're definitely going to want to either put your alcohol in a cup or at least have a koozie. And you do run the risk of getting a ticket even on the beach. So don't do that. No open containers in Charleston. Now we do have one cool rule <laughs> as far as drinking and partying goes, and that is that in South Carolina, you can split shots multiple ways. So if you're balling on a budget, you can go to the bartender and ask for three shots, five ways, save a little bit of money. And that is probably one of the only cool things that we have going on down here. We already got rid of the mini bottles. So um, hopefully one of these days we'll progress and party better, but for now, that's all we got. Multiple shots, multiple ways. <laughs> if you are partying in downtown Charleston or any of the nearby areas, just Uber. It's a lot easier. It's really not that expensive, especially if you're with a group. You guys can all split the cost and parking is a bitch and parking tickets are even more of a bitch. And then there's just all types of obstacles that come with parking. So I recommend getting an Uber, leave the car at home. A lot of places you can walk to, and if you're a good drunk biker, you can also bike, that's another option. But just obviously don't drink and drive. <laughs> All right, party people, I hope that you are just that much more prepared for partying in Charleston. I am Baker Manning, thank you for tuning in. Check out my website, bakermanning.com for a lot more travel guides and resources for Charleston, partying, adventure, and all the good stuff. And if you like this video, give me a little like. Be sure to subscribe if you want to be, and hit the bell if you want to be notified when I post more videos, which I will be doing. And um, if you come to Chucktown, definitely have a great time.